it's okay, it's alright. It's good. It's been a minute, but we back. How y'all doing? So today we're going to be talking about a shoe that uh, came out, oh, late 90s originally. And we finally got a retro release of this OG colorway that is super dope. You might get a hint of it as you're peeking over my shoulder this direction. We'll talk about those in a little bit. But today we are going to be talking about the air structure. Oh gee, some of us will remember it as the Air Structure Triax. So this, the Triax line dropped in 1996 with the Air Max model. Um, they went from having polyurethane midsoles to a mix of PU and then Phylon of what, what was a lighter cushioning for Nike. They were trying to get Max cushioning into a lighter midsole i mean which kind of makes sense now that we're seeing things nowadays like um the next percent line and all of the runners that have gone super light max cushioning that actually started a long time ago the predecessor to the structure triax og was actually the air stab so the air stab you can actually see so many similarities between the models Okay, forefoot design, midfoot design. There were a lot of similarities between them. The stab stood for stability. The structure obviously has the same thing in mind. Again, looking at the uh, outsoles there, you can see that sort of lug here on the, on the infrared side. And then a little bit of guidance on that outside. Same thing there, it's uncolored, but it's all there on the air stab. So this was the predecessor for the structure Triax. Now the Triax had an Air Max model, they had a sort of distance running longer model, and then they had the stability model. So they brought this one back in the teal and the infrared colorways. And this is sick because this was one of the shoes that aesthetically uh, it was so unique when it first dropped. Two tone, you know, one in the uh, the instep had one color, and then the lateral side, medial side, lateral side had a different color. The strong geometric pattern went with Nike's design language of the mid and late 90s. These shoes are bananas. When they released it, I had to get a pair because of my history with running shoes, especially with Nike in the mid 90s uh, when I was competing. Uh, so these are super classic. And to have that sort of infrared, teal, Nike international colorway to lead off is a big, big deal. Love this shoe. It also falls in line with its, uh, its younger cousin who later came out, which is the Air Equilibrium. So this is the Zoom Air model. And uh, I think we did a review on this a long time ago. If not, I need to get that one up. But Nike had a long history and you can see they changed that midsole. They went to their Phylon or their compression molded EVA, which was making shoes more structural and lighter because then they would insert shanks or they would put in guidance on the outsole and the midsole. But this geometric pattern on the air structure triax goes bananas love this one absolutely remarkable one of the better one of the better nike running models from back in the day this is going to play well over the summer with you know jeans shorts all types of fashions a good sweatsuit it's a classic runner man if i could get a nike international sweatsuit man with these right here. All right, so that's it. We're gonna show you these on foot. The Nike Air Structure Triax, if you're old like me, OG. Thanks for coming through, show you these on foot. It's okay, it's all right.